This week, we continue to see lies after lies after lies after lies. Now, one thing about Raquel, she's a liar. She's always going to lie about something. Did y'all hear Raquel lying to Jukebox, telling Juke, hey, Juke, you girl, you go do your thing. All the girl, other girls, you just step aside. Man, you got in there. They kicked her ass. They got the Sandman. Hey, Mr. Sandman, <laughs> sing me your dream. <laughs> she said, when I had you. All right, that's it. Get your ass out of here. They got you box off the stage so god darn quick. I said, man, ain't no way. Marvin talking about, girl, you killed it. Really, nigga? Man, jukebox was off that perk 30, man. Jukebox went in there, popped that pill, and went out there and didn't know what the fuck she was doing. She ain't had no choreography. She just up there. When I had you. They said, all right, come on. You're out of here. You're done. You're done. Mm -mm. Man, they grabbed jukebox by the neck. They, they almost threw jukebox into jail with damn Lulu. I said, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. That was quick. Usually they don't boo kids. But, man, as soon as you got up there. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> man, jukebox was in and out like a fast food restaurant, man. There wasn't no Tic Tacs. Hell no, that was a perk 30. That motherfucker was in there. Man, you ain't taking no Tic Tacs before you sing. When you go up there and sing. If you really want to be a good singer, listen, because I used to sing in the choir. If you want to be a good singer, you got to go in there with that funky breath. If you go in there with your breath smelling good, you ain't really trying to sing. You too worried about your breath smelling good. No, nah, you're supposed to be singing from here. That means the gut. You're supposed to be singing from down here. That funk is supposed to come out. The funk, the whole funk and nothing but the funk. You're supposed to be up there blowing paws. You know what I mean? You can't be up there. Remember on the wood when they were checking their breath? He said, hur, hur. yeah, that's how your breath is supposed to smell when you up there singing. Jukebox over here and threw up. She was supposed to go straight on that stage because now her stomach is empty. You know what an empty stomach means? Someone tell me what an empty stomach means. Someone tells me what an empty stomach means when you up there singing. It's real simple. It's not complicated. This isn't no puzzle, no joke or nothing. What does an empty stomach mean when you, you know what I'm saying? When you about to sing, what does an empty stomach mean? Matter of fact, we might talk about jukebox. We already on the clock with jukebox. We on the clock with jukebox. All right, I like that. We on the clock with jukebox. No, nah, oh, see, that's how I know none of y'all was inquiring nothing. Come on, y'all. No, an empty stomach when you sing it means you hungry. Literally, you hungry. You got to want that. See, singing isn't, that isn't something you just get on the stage and do. You got to be mentally prepared for that. Like when I get on here and sing, do y'all think I get nervous? Hell no, because I know that's what my destiny is. I was supposed to be a lead singer in some kind of group, not B2K, because them niggas on some other shit. I was probably supposed to be in. Well, no, nah, because Drew Hill has Cisco, and Cisco is a better singer than me. Maybe 112, but no, nah, them niggas work with Diddy, and Diddy wasn't paying them. And Diddy did it, so no, nah, I couldn't be in there. Jagged Edge, no, nah, they had the twins, and I wasn't singing no, meet me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't, no, nah, that wasn't me. So I'd probably be, I would say Jodeci, but no, nah, them niggas work with Puff also, even though when they left, and just went Casey and JoJo. I could say I was in Casey and JoJo, but they were brothers. And either one of them niggas, they like junkies. So they ain't my brothers. Hmm. I could have probably been in Next or something. I could have probably been in Next or something. TGT. Oh, yeah, man. My boy Genuine. But no, nah, because that nigga Tyrese, man. Every time you look up, Tyrese is crying. See, I probably couldn't be in the group because I'd have to go solo on their ass. I ain't gonna lie, I probably had to go solo if I was in a group. One, 
I don't. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what background singing is. I, I just don't know what that shit is. I'm more of a lead. You know what I mean? I'm more of a lead singer. Now, like I said, if I wasn't Drew here, I wouldn't mind being in the back. Five steps from eternity. We were. Nah, but then me and Cisco will probably be fighting though, because Cisco can sing, but I probably need to be the lead. I don't know. Nah, I, I could do solo. What up, Brillo? What up, Brillo? Right now, we just trying to we trying to understand where jukebox mind is. You know, we on the clock with jukebox. You know what I mean? But right now, we got Lulu producing hits. Marvin in the back just smacking down. He got the Lucky Charms. I used to like Lucky Charms. The only thing about Lucky Charms is you can't put too much milk in your bowl. Because Lucky Charms, you don't want them to get soggy. Kind of like how Ronnie was talking. You don't want the marshmallows to get soggy. So you got to eat Lucky Charms fairly quickly. And if you get to the end, you always, the cereal or the marshmallow, you always save a marshmallow for last when you're eating Lucky Charms. You never eat the cereal last. If you got cereal left and there's no marshmallow, uh, marshmallows, then you are, um, how can I put this? You're a fucking gremlin. You have no self-control. If you eat Lucky Charms and the last thing you take a bite out of ain't a marshmallow, then you're a gremlin. You have no self-control and you need to just put that down and go eat Cheerios. Kind of like Ronnie. See? Kind of like Ronnie. But all right. So Jukebox and our boy Lulu. Now, Lulu had a little, he had an eventful weekend also. Or should I say night? Because they made the beat, and then the next day was the studio session. Well, Juke is over here getting prepared. The song that she got, I'm like, all right. Do we think that this song is appropriate for Jukebox to be trying to get in a girl group? She said, ooh, la, 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 ooh, la, la, la. I said, I don't know if that's really the song y'all want to be performing to join a group. Like, be real. What the, the song was cool. You got to remember, we in the 90s. The song was cool, but for a girl group, for a girl group, I'm like, I don't know about this juke. And you up here in the overalls, polo girl. Oh, polo girl. Song is straight. Now, Marvin is over there. And, you know, Marvin is trying to be supportive because it's his daughter, man. Y'all been giving Marvin a hard time. He called a body last week. Well, he's Fendi down to the socks today. That's a clean brother. But this is jukebox story. And he did make a good point. If y'all just start when the beat drop, you know what I'm saying? When that bass drop, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. Oh, now we talking about cereal. Black Baron said uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal. I used to eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You know, I need to find a woman that's on Wick. You know what I'm saying? You know, even here on the base, you can be on Wick. I never understood that. I never understood how a person in the military could be on Wick when they give you a monthly allowance to buy food with. You know what I mean? And when you have dependents, they give you extra money, but they still let you on WIC. It needs to be MIC, like MIC. M-W-I-C. I should be able to get on WIC. Women, infants, and children. It should be men, women, infants, and children. I want to go down there and get me some fucking milk. I want to go get me some cereal. I feel like I deserve that also. Yeah, you can get WIC. On base. I said, how? If you're in the military, you should not be getting wick. But I'm like, how do I qualify for that? Where are the, 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 the benefits for niggas like me and Lulu? You know, the guys that are out here trying to make a way, looking out for our niece. Where's, where, where's, where's our love at, man? I want to use wick. I ain't too proud either. I'd be up there, motherfucking wick car. Cow, man, come on, man. Jukebox is over here singing. Marvin is trying to help out. Lou is dropping beats. Man, we got the, well, I will say the trifecta, but Marvin ain't really doing nothing but just eating. Now, the next time we see Juke, she's at the crib, Dola. And she's just a singing. Did y'all notice this big old tub of mayo? 
la 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 so she's in the kitchen just to get it making that pp and j she got she got the government cheese she got the big old thing of mayonnaise this ain't like like this ain't no name or nothing on it's just straight mayo you know what i mean just straight mayo Auntie Rock show up. Girl, I can hear you outside. That shit was terrible. I mean, that shit sound good, you. That shit sound good. She said, thank you, Auntie. Now, Rock got that big ass cane in on the motherfucking necklace. You know what I mean? She comes up and she pulls up with the chain, the heart J, man. I need one of that. I need one of those. You know what I'm saying? The chain with a J in it. You know what I'm saying? For jukebox and Julius. But she shows up and she basically raised, from what I was reading, she raised Jukebox. So she's always been that support system, especially because they're the only two women amongst the family. Like my older sister, all my cousins are boys, me, my three brothers, well, two brothers. So my sister was the only girl on my mama's side. All my cousins are males. So it's just my, you know what I'm saying, my auntie and my sister, they would talk and hang out. So this relationship is cool. I ain't gonna lie to you. Kind of brought a tear to my eye. I was at work though. I had my earpiece in, so I couldn't really see what was going on. I could just hear it, and I was like, "Damn, man, I miss my sister." But then I was like, "Wait a minute, Mo, get focused. They ain't trying to hear about your sister. They trying to hear about jukebox and damn rock hill." I said, well, "They gonna hear about my sister for a little bit because this sounds like my sister." Now my sister used to be a singer. Well, she thought she was a singer. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. She could sing a little bit, but you know, I was like, "Man, I don't know." I don't know if it's good. Or, like, I don't know if she had the pipes like Mo had the pipes. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it skips over people. Like, my sister will love her. God bless her soul. But I think I was a little bit better of a singer than her. You know what I mean? But that's neither here or there. Jukebox is in here singing her ass off. You got to be prepared when you go into these shows. Before I get on these lives with y'all, I go look in the mirror for 15 to 30 seconds. You know what I tell myself? I tell myself I am somebody. I say, well, when you get on there, don't you let anybody tell you you can't sing. Because if you want to sing, you sing. Now, Jukebox, she isn't self-driven like that because everything she's been through. If you remember, they tried to beat the devil out of her. They tried to take the devil out of her hands. When you holding on to something in life, keep that grip. Pause that, but keep that grip. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on tight. Hold on to your love. You got to. You see what I'm saying? That's what they were telling us. So when Juke hears Rock come over here, she's already hesitant on what Rock is talking about because Kanan has told her, man, you know how she is, Juke. But Juke was like, hey, this is kind of one of the only people in my corner. Kanan, give her another chance. But when Juke realizes that Rock is just showering her with gifts to keep her on her side. She'll start to understand what Kanan has been saying. So when she pulls up with this necklace, she doesn't understand that. She just thinks this is love. This is Raquel supporting her. Now, Rock is supporting her, but the only reason Rock showed up with the jewelry was really to find out what the hell Kanan was doing. One day, Jukebox is going to realize Ain't no one in this family really there for me. No, 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 they not. One day they're going to realize ain't nobody in this family really here for me. Now she gets the necklace. And what does she say? Hey, have you seen Kanan? Have you seen Kanan? So do you guys believe that Rock was here to support Jukebox? Or was she there to really find out about Kanan? That's what I like to know. Was it really there for Juke? Or was it there to actually try to find out about Kanan? Renee said both. And DeMarcus said Juke is like famous accepting gifts from Rock. I think it's more of Kanan. I mean, of course she knows 
that you was about to be singing in the competition. But from what we heard from outside of Juke singing on inside, I was kind of like, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but no. <laughs> this shit trash. <laughs> this shit a little trash. But she don't know nothing about Canaan because man, Canaan been doing Canaan. All right, well, let me read this recruitment. Man, is this so? I watched this on my phone at work today. The bits and pieces I did. Is this episode dark? Like, is the is the whole episode dark to y'all? Why don't they use lights? I mean, I know they're trying to say, like, okay, it's a dark season, but turn some lights on or something, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I hate watching shows where I can't see what the fuck is going on, man. Like, it, it's kind of dark, man. I, I'm like, man, I can't see nothing in these episodes. Okay, I thought that was just because I was watching on my phone. I was like, man, what the hell? I'm over here looking. They say, hey, Mo, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to read my phone. I ain't got my glasses. Man, I couldn't see what the hell was going on, man. Army, be all you can be. Military recruitment. Reserve your future. Join today and be all you can be. Contact your local Army recruiter or call 555-US-ARMY. I would call them, but I know 555 is a fake number. Yeah, she just had the lamp on, but man, the rest of it, like, okay, she had that lamp on. And you got to remember, this is 92. They didn't have LEDs. This is like, <laughs> this is how they lights were in the 90s. This is how it was. This, this is me with the overhead light on. This is how it looked. Matter of fact, I can give you guys a, a real representation of what it looked like back in the day because in this part of the building, it's old. That's how bright it was over at Juke's house. Like, look at that. Man, you can't see a damn thing with that old ass light. Like, man, what the fuck? Now you see why back in the day, all of the elders had to wear glasses. Back in the day, once you hit 30, automatic glasses. Just because the lighting and everything wasn't good, the sun wasn't as bright as it is today as it was back then. That's just facts. I'm not making this up. Well, at least I think it's facts. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. So she's in here, and of course, what does she do? Go to the window. Go to the mirror. I mean, do re me, but no, I'm not an R&B singer. I'm a gangster rap for throwing up the middle finger. Who sings that song? Who sings that song? If you know that, then hey, you know some hits. But Juke is still looking at the army talking about, man, should I join? Should I join or should I not? My thing is what Juke should do is join the army and join the army choir. If she can get in the army choir, she'll just be singing. That's her job. Like, while niggas is going to war, you over there singing. Oh, say, can you see by the early night? Yeah, you join the army and get in the choir. That's your job. You all you do is sing. You sing at all the balls. You sing like whenever a general gets promoted. So well, somebody dies, you gotta go sing at that too. But yeah, man, you join the army, man. Don't become a police officer. I hate that we know your future, but hopefully they showed you like go to the army or ROTC or something. That'd be cool. The spinoff. Uh jukebox gets her boots. Hey, what y'all think about that? Jukebox gets her boots. <laughs> jukebox gets her boots power book six and we see jukebox go to the army <laughs> jukebox gets her boots i like that 
private jukebox reporting the duty, sir. Get your ass a wine jukebox. Durr, durr. Like, damn, juke, they on your head, girl. <laughs> Next time we see juke is, uh, it's the, uh, what's the name, ain't it? Yeah, juke ain't really have too much going on. Nah, Demarcus, he joined Army Reserve. She's still gonna be in New York, man. <laughs> She's still gonna be hanging around Canaan and them. She might get caught with a pack on a Wednesday. You know what I mean? They might call Jukebox in for a damn drug test. She didn't over here and picked up Nicole's rock. Like, damn, Juke. <laughs> Most people get kicked out of the military for weed. You think you got kicked out for that rock? <sighs> The next time we see jukebox, we gotta get prepared for this damn talent show. Cause man, we trying to win this motherfucker. And I hold on, I don't know why this is opening in in window. Like, come on, man, opening with media player. No, well, not media player. Oh, did they update this? Oh my goodness, why would they update this? Oh man. They didn't update the Windows Media Player. I, that's why I never update anything on my computer, man. Don't nobody want this raggedy shit. They think it looked better. This don't look better. I can't even put repeat on. I gotta press repeat every time and repeat it all the time, man. There we go. All right. So we get up to the damn concert. Well. Not the concert, but uh, what the hell? Oh, the auditions. See, I might need to go. I might need to go get a shot, man. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about right now. All right. If you watch the episode, if you watch closely, these people right here, if you notice Marvin and Jukebox, they cut them. They cut them. When they watch, what go back and watch the episode. When they walk up, there's no one back here. I mean, th like they don't show them, but Marvin and them just hop in line. But did you see how long this line was? Like this line was all the way back, all the way back. This nigga Marvin just cut everybody. I said, "Damn, Marvin out here doing gangster shit." I wonder how much polo does jukebox have though. Hell yeah, booby traps. Like, I don't like like this looks terrible, man. I don't need this professional looking. I just want to be able to press play and this shit disappears at the bottom of the screen, man. Don't nobody want to see all this extra stuff. Now, when they get here, this is a long ass line. Now I'm trying to wonder. What kind of girl group do you think this is? Is it going to be a pop group, an R&B group? Like, what kind of group is this going to be? Like a TLC? What about your friends? Or is it going to be an In Vogue? Oh, what's it going to be? Because I can't pretend. Oh, no. Don't you want to be more than friends hold me tight and don't let go oh let go what kind of group is this man jukebox can't dance jukebox ain't like jukebox is a tomboy man so she gotta be oh it might be total tell me what you want from me yeah it's gotta be something like that s s double s s Double? I don't know, man. Because I was trying to figure out, like, all right, did they did they give them an idea? Like, all right, this is the kind of group we're gonna have. We're gonna have us a little pop, like a like, like uh, what's the what's the thing now? Uh, Spice Girls. We're gonna have us a little Spice Girl group. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna be my lover, you have got to give. Take it is too easy, but that's the way it is. Now, what you think about that? Now you know how I feel. What she say? Don't wanna act too crazy. <laughs> Don't waste my time. See, we on jukebox, so I get to get all my singing in. So what do you want? 
what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to take a zigzag with a really good girl. Tomboys are in style, mid 90s, Aaliyah. Yeah, but Aaliyah was different. Aaliyah was a tomboy, but Aaliyah, like, <laughs> RIP to Aaliyah. I had Aaliyah's uh, One in the Million uh, CD, what well, my dad had. I used to listen to that motherfucker all the time, man. I used to love Aaliyah, man. I remember when she passed, man, my cousin was crying. I looked at her like, damn, man, you didn't even know her, but he was crying, man. But yeah, I need to know what kind of group this is. Because I'm, all right, look at this girl right here. All right, we got to go through the crowd now. We got to go through the crowd now. So look at this girl right here. And then look at this girl. So this girl got the oversized clothes on, the baggy clothes with the Keds on. You you know Keds, those are the shoes with no bottom. It ain't got no sole on it. It's just your foot, the ground. That's all it is. Then you got this girl with the skirt with the, the, the scrunched up socks. Man, this group is about to be trash. Hope it ain't Diddy's making a band. But Jukebox is getting nervous, and they're trying to find Uncle Lou because Uncle Lou is the one that's going to actually push her. What? What do we got here? Uncle Lou is the one that's been really supporting her and helping her out. Now, they needed that mix and master track, but we know that Lulu is in jail, but this ain't Lulu's story. This is Jukebox story, so she don't know none of that. This isn't current time. You can't just, hey, where you at, Lou? And he just send you a text. No, you got to beat me 911, and I got to go. Get this damn um because they ain't got no cell phones. Now I gotta go to a pay phone, call back. Hey, who did someone call here? 911. So Jukebox is in here throwing up. That's that sickness. They throw up on her shirt. Mom spaghetti. You know what I mean? Her palms are sweaty. You know what I mean? What up, babe? So she's in here throwing up, getting prepared, man. That oof. I'm thinking she might be pregnant. What y'all think? Or am I just talking? Is she pregnant? I could be wrong. More than likely, I'm not. And we are on the clock, so I got to start wrapping this up because we have 45. Well, that's only about, yeah, that's about, yo, shit, it's about 30 minutes. Come on, y'all. Now I'm just bullshitting. Now, I don't know this lady's name. I did see an article of them being in here, but she comes in here and she talking that shit. That's how I am. You know what I mean? If I was to come in here, all right, y'all, y'all might as well go on home because I'm getting lead singer here. I am Cisco. Y'all niggas is the heel. You know what I'm saying? I am Drew. Y'all are heel. You know what I mean? I am B, big dog. Y'all are 2K, <laughs> to get behind Mo Paul. You know what I mean? I am Joe. Y'all are the C. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> One man army. Yeah, booby trap. She was all in that motherfucker. Hands on the toilet. And I, I don't know if y'all know or not, but Jukebox is a, hey, I got to do it, man. Jukebox is trifling as a motherfucker. Jukebox is trifling. Jukebox had her hands on the toilet. I'm talking both hands. Throwing up on the toilet. Did y'all see her? Not wash her hands, but then drink water out of the sink in her hand. She, I said, Juke. Now I know you really want to sing. Remember, I told you, don't worry about your breath. She went over there, dirty hands out of the sink, a public, a public sink at that. When I was a kid, I used to go in there, turn the faucet on, drink from the faucet. Especially in the middle of the night, you ain't want to go all into the kitchen. You go right across the hall into that bathroom, turn that cold water on, but don't turn it on too high because it'd make too much noise. And then your mom would get, hey, what are you doing there? Like, damn, nigga, I'm trying to get something to drink, mom. So you got to turn it on a little low, but you let it run for like 10 pitches. Saying that shit get cold as hell. <laughs> Jukebox went in there, drank water out the sink, threw up on the, I said, oh, juke. And then she popped the perk. Then this girl comes in talking about this is hey, this ain't me talking. This is her. I'm just telling y'all what I heard. I could be wrong. Y'all bitches need to sit down because y'all bitches is background singers. But guess what? We know that every three out of ten niggas is real niggas. 
we know that Mo was one of them. We trying to find the other two. Well, this girl right here, she one of the other real niggas. We trying to find that other one. Because she came in here and told all of them. Look at them. They hating, too. Look at the hater over here. Ah, 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 ah. Your eyes. Hating your eyes. Look at her over here. Who bang? Who ball? No, let, me, let me see something. What you mad because you pushed down for he said wait. They in here hating, y'all. They in here. She all she did was come in there confident. That's all you need is confidence in life, man. That's all. She came in there and told them, listen, I'm here to stay. Now, old girl, she popping a perky. You know what I mean? Time for the percolator. She gives jukebox a perky. She talking about her juke. Take one of these. Well, she calls a polo girl. Now. We know that Juke is about to get snatched the fuck up off that stage. So I'm thinking they showed her because they might go and do something or Juke found a new love interest or something. Crystal and Aisha. Aisha. I don't know. It looked like a perky to me. I'm not taking a Tic Tac before I go sing. Just like if you take a Tic Tac before you go to the dance, it's got to be a white one. You know what I mean? Or you can get a green one. But it's got to be something that the girls can't see if it falls out your mouth. Pause. But they go in there. Juke is like, where's, where's Uncle Lou at? He got the track. He got the track. He said, oh, I don't know where he at. I don't know where he at. And the lady clowned her too. She said, your name Jukebox? Yeah. All right, come on out here, Miss Polo. <sighs> All right, Miss Jukebox Thomas, do you have an audio track that will be accompanying you today? No, sir. All right, go ahead and sing. Oh, when you walk by every night, talking sweet and looking. All right, next. Who is this? Get her out of here. She's done. She's done. We don't want that shit. That is not going to work in our girl group. She doesn't have the image. She's got braids. She's wearing polo. We are not looking for that for this girl group. Get her out of here. They got jukebox out of there so damn quick, man. I said, we didn't hype this whole this whole episode. I'm thinking Juke is about to get up there and kill it. Man, the whole time they killed Juke's spirit. They told you, get your trash ass the fuck out of here. I said, damn. Oh. This whole time, I'm thinking Juke is about to get up there and blow. I thought Juke is about to get up there and do offset or something. I thought Juke was about to do it. Man, Juke got up there and was terrible. Oh, man. Choke, 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 choke. Everybody put choke in the chat. Everybody put choke in the chat. Everybody put choke in the chat. I thought jukebox is about to get up there. And what, what did Marvin say? I ain't never had my socks blown off. I would like that experience, but we didn't get that. Everybody put choke in the put choke in the chat, man. Jukebox lied to us. This whole time she was practicing with Lulu. She was making a a, a, a mayonnaise sandwich. She was doing all this shit. We like, all right, you got it. She was looking at the army pamphlet and said, fuck that. That ain't my destiny. My destiny is on that stage. Man, Juke let us down. I thought, I thought we was about to get it. The only thing we got was disappointment. And Lulu's in jail, man. Lulu's in jail. <sighs> All right. I think this is pretty obvious. What is Juke's outcome from this? Now, I'm already leaning towards Lulu having a little open mic shit and having her come up there and perform. And she's going to gather like a nice little audience. But I think she's going to be mad at Lulu at first. And then he's going to say, hey, just come up here and sing. Or what is the lady at the bar? What is her name? Sandra? <laughs> Booby trap said a choke artist. <laughs> Damn, man, you had us fooled. Lou let us down. He knew damn well he had somewhere to be in the morning. Hey, Marvin told him too. Marvin said, 
Hey, don't get into no shit, bro. Damn, man. Not come on, man. Like now, we are off the clock with jukebox. Now I already said, like I think, of course, she's gonna go up there and be performing at the. It's only episode three, so maybe like episode five should go up there. But we off the clock with jukebox. We can probably shift over to uh, Lulu. But I, I just gotta ask some questions though before we, before we get into to Lulu's story because now people are saying he's irresponsible. Let me ask you this. What would you do if your son was performing at a bar and some old white man was boo? What would you do? Wouldn't you want someone to stand up for your son? Lulu did just that. So we're not going to get on Lulu's case for him defending young black men. We need to protect our young black men the same way we do our young black women. And that's what Lulu was doing. He's protecting the artist. Now, sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Rosa Parks sat on that bus. She made a sacrifice. We all got to make sacrifices. Lulu sacrificed himself for the better of the community. And people are saying that Lulu is irresponsible. Can you believe that? We're going to go more in depth on that. But wouldn't you want someone to step up for your son? Your cousin, your nephew, wouldn't you want someone to step up for him? Because if I heard correctly, Marvin said if they don't pick Juke, he was going to do something gangster. He was going to do something gangster. And we all laughed. <laughs> Marvin is so funny. But when Lulu did the same thing for the young, oh, because it was young black men, no one gave a fuck. No one cared. But when Marvin said he was going to do some gangster shit because if they didn't pick his daughter, it was okay. You see what I'm saying? Lulu did the right thing. Marvin was talking about shooting. Lulu just whooped some ass. All, all he did was defend some young, innocent black kids that were trying to make their way. For all we know, that was Nas and Jay-Z up there. That's all. It uh, could have been Nas and Jay-Z up there, but we'll never know now because somebody, somebody was being a heckler. Damn. That's right, Eric. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> he said it's the right thing, but it wasn't the smart thing. All right, fuck it. We are on the clock with Lulu. Let's take it back to where it all began. To where it all began. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. The funniest part of this show, this episode three, was Jukebox being told, that's it. That was the funniest part of the episode, to me personally. Did y'all laugh, or was this like y'all was serious in this moment? Because I... <laughs> I thought Jukebox was going to put a show on. I was fooled. So I'm watching this. I'm <laughs> I'm sitting at the desk. I got my phone because for some reason, the site I was watching off of, it wouldn't turn. You know what I mean? It wouldn't turn. So I had to watch that motherfucker vertically. So it was very, very small. I'm like, God damn, man, I can barely see this. I thought Juke was about to get up there. They, encore, encore, put her in the group. Man, they tossed her off the stage. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, it was funny to me. <laughs> they said, all right, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Get you out of here. All right, y'all. We good. We good. 